Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Enjoy the Bounty of Planning with Tonisha Taylor. So today I am doing a plan with me in my personal planner, which is now in, um, and I have some other videos about how I used a A5 planner that Cloth and Paper sent us in December. Um, it was a spiral bound planner that they sent us in the cloth and paper subscription, if you get the subscription. Um, I purchased this leather agenda cover from cloth and paper as well. It's the pebble, I think it's the saddle color, <laughs> if I remember correctly. And I absolutely love it, but it was too small, you know, for my work planner, I use a... Um, happy planner which is just over here I use the happy planner classic size so you can see how much larger <laughs> this is um, and so this is the size I use for work the cover that I use is the notique this is the stone gray color cover and I absolutely love this it's got rose gold accents it's so pretty um, and I'll do a plan with me in that one later that'll be a separate video uh, but for my personal planner I moved to this so I and I absolutely love, I love it I did a video where I showcased my my whole setup so I'm not gonna do that here um, and I don't think I've made any changes since that video I think the only thing I don't think I've made any changes actually since that video um, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. So in that video, I added my, I did a video where I did an unboxing of these new, um, plastic tabs, uh, the divider tabs. These are from cloth and paper as well. And I just used my, um, label maker to make the labels um, and my label maker I use clear labels um, and it prints black ink so I have one for my overview my schedule home meal plan and notes and then there's like an extra one back here that's not being used that right now is just the back of the planner <laughs> um, so for the schedule I, like I said, I'm using the spiral bound A5 planner that we received in the December box that was just sitting over here being completely unused before because I just didn't have a purpose for it. And then now that I'm going back to campus, that things are kind of opening up, I wanted to go ahead and not just have a separate I've always had a separate planner, keeping my personal life things separate from my work life things. But I decided that since my personal planner isn't going to leave the home office, it's going to stay at the house. I would kind of like to not have, I wanted something smaller that I was going to be carrying, you know, carrying around the house from room to room. Um, and so, and I didn't want to buy anything new because it was already June. <laughs> And so in came this planner, which I already have. So I think actually one of the new things I did too is in the home section, I, I printed just using some vellum paper that I already had. I printed this little scene so I would have a sort of like a, just like a little dashboard basically. Um, I did purchase, which I think I talked about in a previous video, the cleaning and chores. This came, I believe, in the March subscription box um, from Cloth and Paper. I loved these um, in the classic size, so I decided to buy some in the half letter size. Um, and then from, I said in one of my previous, in that previous video that I was looking for, like a food and exercise log. I found one um, on Fancy Plans, which I do like a lot. As you can see, I already used it last week. So I am excited to keep going with that. So let's go ahead and put all of this to the side and plan with this. So 
my as you can see the spiral planner pages and i'll just actually pull maybe if i make these pull these up closer to the screen you can see so these pages oops let's adjust that lighting too there we go so you can see like the edge is where i cut off the spiral bound page and then I just use a regular disc bound. I have the Happy Planner one um, punch to just punch the page for the, because the A5, and I've said this several times on my videos, an A5 um, sheet and a half letter sheet are not that, they're like centimeters of difference between an A5 and a half letter. Now, some of you are probably wondering, well, if there's some, you know, there's centimeters of difference there, why use a disc bound half letter? Why not just use an A5? And so I think a lot of that has to do with like, what's your personal use preference? I love a disc bound because I like what I just did, right? I wanna be able to pull these out, put it on a piece of paper or put it on a table and just write. The thing with a, when you have a um, A5, those are binders and the binders, the more you open, I mean, everybody knows you've ever used a binder, you know, you open and close those binders. The more you do that every day over time, your connection between the binders gets weak, your pages fall out. It's very upsetting. <laughs> That is never a problem on a disc bound planner. You never have a problem with the connection getting weak and it falling out. So that's why I love this. And it's funny, I used to say that the half letter size, I could never plan on that because it's too small. And I will say this for work, it is too small. Like I couldn't do this as much as I love how cute my little half letter agenda cover is and you know the cute little size of it and whenever I think about it whenever I describe it to people that's how I describe it to people too like it's just cute it's she's cute right and that's lovely except when you're at work I'm not trying to have cute <laughs> I want it to be cute let me let me not say that I want it to be cute but it has to be functional and a half letter for all of the things I have to put on my paper planner at work, a half letter is just not big enough. It's not functional. Um, and so I just, I can't live that way. <laughs> I want to, but I can't. So since this is my personal planner, we are in the week of here. Since this is my personal planner, I am gonna go ahead and put in some highlights of some things. And I'm actually gonna put in two color bars um, here. So I usually highlight at the bottom the deliveries, but next week I also have conferences. So I'm going to highlight those as well so that I can put those right across the top. So here I'm gonna go ahead and just write in, um, let me just move myself over and I actually I'm sorry I actually am gonna just tilt this I don't know why but I have always tilted my paper to the side and had like a diagonal in order to write on it don't I don't don't ask me I don't know I've been doing it since I was learning to write okay and I don't know I honestly I don't know why <laughs> But that's what I do. So it's been forever since I've done a plan with me. But as a reminder, I don't usually talk and write at the same time because I can't spell words correctly if I'm talking and writing and I'm saying something different than what I'm writing down. I've tried it. You can look at my previous videos and see me try and epically fail. So I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> All right, I do have a delivery that I'm expecting here too. So 
if you've been on my channel recently or following in on and off over the years, or even just over the last few months, you know that I was one of the victims of the winter storm. And so I'm still getting a lot of things delivered because I'm still replacing a lot of things. Um, but I am happy to be back in the house. That's important. I don't typically do which is actually I'm attending two virtual conferences at once um, which is insane <laughs> absolutely stinking bonkers now you're probably wondering like thinking to yourself Tanisha you said this was your personal planner and it is but I consider research and it took me all summer to figure this out um, to this point because I was really debating is my research agenda personal or is it work and the truth is it's both it's both personal and work and so the details of it go in both planners and I have just decided to stop you know playing myself basically <laughs> and just put it in both places. Because the truth is that because it's both, right? It's both, your research agenda is both work and personal. And this is actually what I came to in terms of decision of why that is. So the reason why that is, is because a research agenda, your personal research agenda is something that should always be personal to you. So it's what you want to do. It's what you're passionate about, but it's, it's work, right? It's labor, it's work that you put in, it's hours of doing things, um, you know, of research, of data collection, of of data analysis and then writing that up, you know, whether you're doing field studies or lab studies or, you know, rhetorical analysis, you know, it, it's work, right? But the thing is, it's also work that's unique to you. So whatever you're doing is yours, right? And so it benefits the university. It in some ways stays with the university, but in other ways it goes with you if you leave the university. So that's what makes it personal in my opinion. Um, and so, and something that for me is going on my personal calendar. So that's, that's my feeling about that. All right, so I'm just gonna write in, now that I've written in my conferences, and on here, I'm really just writing in, it's funny, on my personal planner though, I'm just writing in that these are happening, I'm not writing in the times. I'm gonna write the times in on my work calendar. <laughs> because I have certain things that I have to do at certain times, and I don't know, I just wanna write that in on my work calendar. Hmm, excuse me. Because one of the, I will say this, the reason why I also want to write that in on my work calendar is because it's already starting to get tight in here. <laughs> um, and I don't know, I just, I don't like it to be too, this is why, like I said, I could never use this size page for work. It's just not enough space. It's enough space to kind of go like broad strokes. It's not enough space for detail. So I am on campus. And then 
I am on Wednesday. Now, as I've said over the over time in plenty of plan with me videos, I use both an electronic calendar and my paper calendars. Um, and for me, it's just, it's really about sort of the memorization as well, is about writing things down, but it's also keeping track of things. Um, I do, and even for my electronic calendar, I do use two different calendars. I use my Outlook calendar for work. Oh wait, no, I'm not on campus on Thursdays. Um, I work from home on Thursdays. Whoop. Drop my white out. Okay, got it. So Thursday technically is a research day. And then during the summer, these last few weeks of summer, <laughs> um, Friday is actually the university's closed. Um, and so I'm definitely at home on these days. Um, I may have another event here, um, so I'm just going to wait until I get some details about that um, before I put anything on here. So this is pretty much going to be the layout. I'm not going to use any stickers or anything like that. Um, I don't know. I feel like just the blue ink and the pink um, highlighter is enough for me to be happy. I like the way that it looks. It feels it feels good. All right, so and the highlighter, so I use the Straza Zebra 0.3 pen and then the Tombow um, marker. And I don't, I use this one so much and I love it so much, this light kind of light pink color. I don't even know what number it is anymore. It's all rubbed off, <laughs> um, but there you go. All right, let's look at our other pages. So for the meal planning page or the meal log and exercise log pages, these pages come undated, which I really, really love because then you can just date them as you use them, which is awesome. So this is gonna be Monday. July 19th and I think what I want to do is because after using them for a little bit one of the things I've noticed is that the date kind of just like melds into the page <laughs> and so it's not I log I do my log at the end of the day a lot of times well actually I do it twice I do it at the end of the day at the beginning of the day and so I like really either both when I'm doing this I'm like usually in the bed <laughs> so it would be nice because in that in my bedroom I have good light but it's not great light I would say it's very much I can read by it, but it's definitely softer. It's not as bright as the light in my office. Which I think your bedroom light should be kind of softer, good light to read by, but softer light so that you kind of it gets you ready for bed. Oh wait, what was that? The 22nd, so this is the 23rd. Okay. All right, so because this is my log, you're basically just logging what you actually ate. And then for the workout, what kind of workout? So the way that I have been using it, just bring up last week's. So last week I used it to just catalog my 
steps. Let's just bring that a little bit closer so it's easier to see. So I catalog just my steps, workout, that I closed my rings. And then you can see I didn't actually do a food log on Monday, but I did the rest of the week. And I just mostly cataloged my steps as well. So that's the way I'm gonna continue to use this um, because I really like it. And so I'm going to just put, just gonna pre-write in the word steps. Okay, so the other thing that I like about using a disc bound planner and having the personal planner be a half letter size and the work planner being a larger size, the classic size, is if I decide that, you know, if I'm traveling for a conference or something and I'm going to be gone overnight, what I can also do is just take out the personal pages, you know, um, and be able to put these pages directly into my planner, um, you know, into either the front or the back, you know, section of my work planner and just take these with me if I'm traveling and still be able to keep track of the personal activities without having to bring the whole planner if that's what I decide to do, right? Um, but if I'm traveling for personal, then I can travel for personal and just travel with that smaller planner. And so that actually makes me happy as well. All right, so for the cleaning chores for the week, let's go back to last week's home section. So what I love about these pages is they do run front and back. And so you can just, you know, put in what you need to put in. So let's just pull over from last week. So the daily, so these are the daily chores that I want to do. And then, oh, I want to clean my desk. As well. And then what happens on specific days is like, I clean out the fridge. So my garbage pickup in my neighborhood is on Tuesdays and Fridays. So I like to clean out the fridge on Monday. And then I have a Roomba, which is set to vacuum on Mondays. Um, it also goes on Wednesdays. I do laundry on Saturdays. And then I usually water the indoor plants on Tuesdays. Don't ask me why, but that's the habit I'm in. Um, and then on Sundays, I actually water the outdoor plants. Okay. 
okay um and then this week just check my dates yeah i want to make sure i do that okay so this is the week of july oops 19th through the 25th so one of the notes that I want to make sure I do is I want to make sure that I review my grow So I want to make a note to myself to review my Grove collaborative order to make sure that when that order comes, I have everything that I need. So, and as a matter of fact, I actually, I think I actually already put one in here. Yes, I did. Um, so this is actually the cleaning inventory. Um, half or half sheet sort of task list that came in the same um, box that we got the cleaning chore sheets in. And so this sheet is actually the, um, the sheet for the um, classic size. And all I did was just use my paper cutter to just cut off the bottom so that it would fit in my book because the bottom is just a reminders box, which is fine, and then on the back is dot grid paper. So that is perfect. So I already dated this one and just noted what it is at the top. So what I'll do is go and use this. I'll go through what is already on order for my Grove, and then I'll also go through the, the house to check all of my supplies, and then I'll add things to the list that need to be added. So we'll just keep this with the cleaning list for the week to make sure that that happens. All right, so that's it for this plan with me. So let me go ahead and put all of these things back. I'm gonna put this pen in my pen holder. Let's go ahead and go back into our planner and put our calendar sheets back for our schedule. So that's what our schedule looks like, which looks great. Let's go into our home section. Put home section pages back. Put the list here so we remember to take care of that and now that um, have a few sheets in here for July what I'm gonna do is just grab a paper clip here and I'm just gonna clip these so that when I pull this home section tab I'm just gonna go straight to my actual pages Alrighty, and then let's go in our meal section here and put these back. Now, I did get the digital download of the meal plan from um, Fancy Plans as well. And so this is, since this digital download is just a printable, um, I tried it for last week. I did like it, actually. It did keep me, interestingly, it did keep me on track for um, doing what I need to do. So as a matter of fact, I'm actually going to take a moment and I am going to print this. I'm going to print one out because it did work. So, and when I find something that works, I want to use it. So, let me go ahead and do that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually print it on slightly heavier paper. Because I printed this one on just regular paper. And, I mean, that's okay, but I would like to use slightly heavier paper. So, I'm going to be right back. Okay, I am back. Alrighty, so I went ahead.
ahead and got um, a piece of 32 pound paper uh, to print the meal plan sheet on, which I really love. So the only thing I don't like is to print it and have it be the correct size. I'm gonna have to waste a good, a fair amount of this paper. Um, but that was actually my bad. <laughs> I actually set it to print just one sheet. And I actually should have set it to print two because then I wouldn't be wasting as much paper. But, oh well, it's done now. Um, so what I do like is that she does have on here, it's very faint, but it is here, um, a little guideline so that you know where to cut. Um, and so you get a nice, especially if you're using a paper cutter like I am, you do get a nice straight cut and you get good, lovely margins, which is so nice. Cause I don't know about you, but when I get a digital download from someone and I print it myself, having the the guidelines of where to cut the paper is so helpful because you just feel, it just makes the whole thing feel more professional and like, and less kind of DIY-ish, <laughs> which is super nice. Okay, so, all right, yeah. So I have this done. Now I will say again, with this one, um, like I said, I made a mistake and had it set it to print just one page. So you can see how much smaller than this one this is. I think when I did this one, I actually set it to print two pages, and um, but I set it to print back to back, I think. Actually, no, I didn't have a set print. I don't know why this came out better than this did. This because it's definitely smaller. But what I like about how small this is, now that I'm looking at this, is this will go really easily in this week. So that instead of having this in the back of my book, I could actually have it in this actual week, which I kind of like. I like already. All right, let me grab my punch. which of course I left the punch on the planner cart on the other side of the office. All right, stick this right in here. Can y'all even see that? There you go. So this is, uh-oh, this is about to be messed up. That's what this is. Let's get that right. Okay, there we go. Do it this way. Oh, oh, that makes me happy. <laughs> okay, I like that. This is probably, let me see, because I actually have one. Cloth and Paper sent us a mini, um, a Happy Planner mini journal for the June box. And I know that you can do like a mini half, a skinny, I think it's called a skinny mini actually. Um, let's see, I think I might have accidentally printed this out basically. Yep, basically mini size, like half the page, half the size of a mini. Um, so yeah, that kind of works though. Of course, now that I'm looking at this, I'm like, why not do, because you know, one of the things that I think is important is when, and I, I think this year is only my second year getting the cloth and paper subscription, um, or the start of my second year. I've really had it, I've been getting it for one full year. 
and I haven't really had too many things that I'm like, I have no, I've had things that I've gotten that I'm like, I have no idea if I'm ever going to use that. I may never use that. And then I end up finding use for it, like this calendar. <laughs> um, okay, I love that. So this digital download, this meal plan um, from Fancy Plans, you know, you're just putting what's on the menu and then your little shopping list. And because I printed it myself, it's blank on the other side. And then you have a whole, you have more shopping list space if you need it here which is great and so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just since we're doing a little plan with me now the other thing is you've seen me take this out at least three times see how much that still holds on um, when you're using the heavier 32 pound paper you get that where you can take it kind of in and out and you don't have um, any issues so that's really that's one of the other things that's nice about using heavier paper if you're gonna print things yourself so what I'm gonna do is using last week's sheet as a guide is last week what I did is I wrote in not just that I was gonna cook my sun basket meals but I wrote in what I was gonna cook and that didn't happen at all in any way. Um, so I think what I want to do this week is just write in. See what I mean? Um, okay, so I just want to write in Sun Basket and then I will um, write in the actual meal when I decide to cook it. Saturday isn't usually leftover. Saturday I sometimes eat out. So I'm gonna not do that for Saturday. But Tuesday and Thursday are definitely leftovers. Um, so that's, that's how we're gonna do that. So I'll write in the actual meal as I go through the week. And then I'll write in my grocery list. I usually do my grocery list um, for two weeks at a time. I usually shop to do two weeks worth of grocery shopping or buy enough food to last for two weeks. Maybe that's a better way to say that. Um, and so I probably won't use a shopping list this week. Um, I didn't use it last week, but that was only because I decided to buy this um, download later in the week and I'd already done my grocery shopping. So this week I probably won't use it because I have everything that I need. But in the future, I will use it. All right, so let's put this in on the schedule. Oh, that is perfect. Okay. Oh yeah, that totally makes me happy. Yay! <laughs> yes! Oh, oh, that totally makes me happy. That totally makes me happy. Okay. Yay! So this is my plan with me for the week of July. What did I just plan for, y'all? <laughs> ah, no! July 19th. <laughs> um, so I did my schedule layout my meal planning layout i did my home plan section 
so that I have that. And then in my meal planning section, I actually have just my food log. So I'm also going to go ahead and, because that's last week's log, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little paper clip there so that we can go ahead and go straight to the current week. Um, and then what I'll probably do is just clip this to that. And that way when, we, when I pull that, we'll just go straight to the current page. That'll make me happy. I may also, well, actually in starting in July for my cloth and paper subscription, I have moved to getting the subscription in the half letter size. So any dashboards I get will be for this size planner, which I'm really excited and looking forward to. Um, so that should be fun. All right, so that is it for this planner. Thank you so much for joining me on this video, this plan with me. Um, make sure that if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put those down in the comment section below. And then you can also, of course, like and subscribe so that you'll and hit that notification bell so that you'll know whenever I have new content. All right, thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day. Enjoy the bounty of your plans.